Really? Bugs? Dudes, get off my lawn! Really? Come on! Oh, we've already gone through the... I think we may need to actually move to a spot where we don't have all these dumb bugs everywhere. Come on! Get, get, oh. Thank you! Oh, man. All right, all right. Okay, so, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I love this area over here, and this is a great area. But, wow. Okay, uh, yeah, we may need to actually get to a better spot. Uh, I think, I think, I mean, honestly, the ocean biome, I mean, we already have a little base over there, but I think I want to actually build a much bigger base. And when I say much bigger base, I mean much bigger base. Oh, yeah. Let's get started. All right, but first, we need a lot of thatch, apparently. <laughs> I was not expecting that much. All right, all right, okay. Let's see how much. Bam! Suck a tree! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, tree, you can be gone. You can give us all your stuff. And then also, we need to... Oh, I'm spoiling out some uh, prime meat here. Uh, let's see. We need to... Um, Let's see. Wood. All right. Uh, we've got wood. We, we've got plenty of wood. We need fiber, hide, uh, stone. Oh, well. There's plenty of fiber on our pocket thyla. Uh, let's go get some stone. All right. Really? Oh, man. Oh, I mean, I knew what I was signing up for here. I mean, I knew what I was signing up for. Bugs. Bugs, just go away. Go away. All right, what? Oh, it's probably all that wood that's in our pocket. We got wood in our pocket. Um, the okay. As long as we can stay on the thyla. Wrong button. Okay, now we're uncovered. Okay, so apparently we can't do that. All right. Bam. Yeah, that was a little bit. Okay, so we're good. We're good now. Um, before I leave this area, I want to get a ton of uh, um, refining forges up and going. Let's see how much flint do we have in our pocket? <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Oh, hey, the the. Meat spoiling. All right, nice. All right, let's see. Uh, forge. One, two. Okay. Apparently, we don't get a buckle shoe, but you know, okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Um. Bam. Wrong button. Bam. Right button. There we go. All right, and we should have plenty of... Yeah, there we go. Those going. All right, I'm going to get this stuff going. Then also we're going to get just a little bit of narcotics going. And then, yeah, I'll bring you guys back as we're getting ready to move a little bit further on. And because we need to go find, like, the perfect spot uh, to make a base. And also we're going to need a lot of metal. But while we're getting that stuff going, uh, let's see, Genesis 1, uh, there's ocean platforms. I mean, we could go with this one. It's just a whole ton of wood and shell fragments. Or we could go with this one, which is a whole, whole ton of metal and no shell fragments. So this one involves less slaying of turtles. Oh, hey, tech jump pad. Oh, hey, mining drill. Hey, I like those things. Those are good. Um, and we need to unlock these as well. Uh, Mega Lech... Mega Chelon. Uh, that, that word always messes with me. It's like Carbo Enemus. It always messes with me. Um, and I don't think I've ever once in my, uh, arc time actually pronounced that properly. But I'm still gonna pronounce it Carbo Enemus. I'm just saying. Alright, uh... We do need to get, uh... A giant turtles where we can have a portable base. That sounds really, really cool. But do we want the wood platforms or do we want the ocean platforms? Well, let's see how much metal we can actually get refined. Um, let's 
What does it take for industrial forge? You know, we could just... Yeah. I mean, we, we probably will need to make an industrial forge eventually, but I'm not saying today is that day. Um, let's see, hold on, let's go, let's Lord of the Rings this. There are days where you look out over your open bogged fields and you say, yes, we need to uh, harvest all this metal and bring it back and refine it so where we can build other big, massive, huge things with it. But today is not the day where we craft the forge. Today is the day we use the piddly forges and then we see if we can actually get by with that because it's gonna take forever um, either way. So, yeah, um, yeah. So that is my Aragorn moment. Yep, that's, that's really about all I've got. <laughs> all right. I do have to admit that the snoring Baryonyx you hear that? That's 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 a bit odd. I'm just saying, bit odd. Oh no no, we're doing this. Sure. All right, and we'll get this. Oh yeah, I forgot. We totally have a ton of uh, lint in there. There we go. All right, so we're up and ready to go for more massive stuff. All right, so let's get this going. Did the bugs leave yet? All right, coffee badger. All right, okay, they're still there. Oh, man, these bugs are not cooperating. All right. Hey, Metal, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, the stone's a bit much. We can move! Ha ha ha! Coffee Badger, we got this. All right, let's do this. We can make it back to base eventually. Oh man, we'll do this, I swear. Trip four took as long as trip three. Only longer, maybe a little less. I don't know, time has no meaning at this point. I just know that we've been going this way for a while. One of these days, I will realize exactly what time means and maybe get a watch where we can do things and the bugs are back those bugs we've already gotten rid of four of them and they're back again this time they brought their friends there's a second batch over to the side Oy vey. trip i think six i've devised a good way of telling time if i adjust the amount of time that it takes to make a coffee or i take notice of the amount of time it takes make a cup of coffee and then I use that and apply it to the the time dilation in the space-time continuum we may understand what five minutes means maybe ten eventually probably not but you know it's 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 a good theory and I may have been stuck there just now nobody saw that the metal is responding nicely though trip Eight, I believe it is. I don't know. I lost track of time and coffee's not working. Uh, we ended up having to, you know, we decided that making a, oh, hold on, monotone. Day eight, we decided that our overabundance of materials meant that we needed to make an additional smithy to house all of our junk so we could use as an additional junk drawer or we could continue or we could use this one as our other one and then this one could be our junk drawer either way it shows promise throw all that in there and then while the metal cooks ah yeah metal cooking we got so much metal cooking all right <laughs> we're gonna go and we're gonna go uh, look for uh, some beaver dams beaver dams should be good all right let's turn that sucker off all right, uh, we got plenty of stuff. Um, honestly, let's go to the frozen bits. Uh, let's go see if we can actually do that because we're waiting on the metal here to respawn. Uh, I believe we've gotten all of it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, we've gotten all of this. So let's uh, head over to the ice bit 
And let's go see if we can go get ourselves a, uh, um, uh, beaver dam. Maybe 15. We're gonna need a few. Alright, so, uh, let's see, um, been a minute. Nope, nope, nope. Ha ha ha. Say hello. G'day, Survivor. Yeah. Ready for adventure? Yeah, sure thing. Stop talking so I can click on you. Thank you. All right. Uh, biome teleport. Arctic. Um, let's go north, I believe. I believe north is teleport the easier ready. one. Um, Coffee Badger, you're going to have to... Uh, let's go you passive so you don't go running off. And... Just in case if I get my butt smacked. Alright? And Karen's coming with us in case she needs to talk to the manager while we're there. Yes. And also we can take a look at base locations while we're there. Here we are. Coordinates confirmed. Yep. Teleport coordinates confirmed. Complete. Hey, it's a kangaroo! Oh, we got horses! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. And it's just me... But I'm thinking that they uh, increased the spawn, uh, the level weight of the dinos for Genesis, much like they do the uh, um, non-story mode stuff. I have found so much higher level stuff on Genesis than I have on, the, say, the island. The island, a lot of times, it takes forever. But here, uh, yeah, so much higher level stuff. A lot of X dinos. All right, but yeah, where are we? Okay, we're here, and we need to go taking a look at a few other things. All right, now here's also a great spot for Argents. Too bad there's no flying. Okay. We need the river. Where is the river? Hold on. The river, you can track it, or the... The mission list... Built Fjord tough, and we need to really start cracking down on a lot of these missions. Um, ice fishing. There we go. Crack mission dispatcher. Okay, over this way. Only 460... 400 meters. Yes. All right. I totally forgot about you, Bob the Builder. Dude, Bob the Builder and Tommy and Stacy. Oh, you guys saved me so much time by being here. And I totally forgot about you guys. Wow. Hopefully you guys have been keeping warm. Yeah? You guys are good? I mean, I realize standing still out here in the ocean or out here in the cold uh, winter area, you know, you could get a little bit nipply. But, you know, you should be fine. Yeah, you, you absolutely should be fine. I've done so much stuff on this uh, map before that uh, I totally forgot these guys were here. I, I, I take that back. I did not forget you guys were here. I totally remember you've been here the whole time, and that is a big Arjuna. Okay, hey, hey, you guys have been doing great, uh, Stacy. You've been chilling out for a while. You just don't even have any levels, really. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, let's get down here. There's some beavers. Ah, there's a beaver dam. Okay. <gasps> Look at you. Oh, man. And we can see you. Whoa. Oh, no, no. He's back to blurry. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. That happened just now. Hey, beaver dam. How you doing? Taking your bits. Don't need your wood. Oh, hey, Beaver. How you doing? Oh, I was just doing things. No, I was just chilling out. No, no. You can, you do your thing, all right? I'll be over here doing this one. That's a 140 Beaver, so I don't want to gank him. I just want to uh, take all his stuff. Okay, and then we'll run you over this way. But, yeah, this spot right here on the map, this is actually a really good spot for... Uh, um, bases just because there's so many there's access to so much resources here <gasps> Otter. oh the beavers are still after me come here
Run you over this way. Past the polymer. Yeah, we're gonna need polymer. Sorry. Run back this way. Suck it, beavers! We're out! <laughs> Have a good day, and I'll take some more polymer. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. Sorry! All right. Moving on! All right. <laughs> Have fun, beavers. We found a snow path, beaver. <gasps> oh, look. He's just over there in the snow path. We're going to have to take his stuff. Later, dude. Have fun. All right. <laughs> you didn't have much. But you know what? I thought that was pretty good. Hey, oh, horsies. Oh, where'd the horsies go? Horsies. 90. Okay. Climb up this way, and I'm just... Whoa, hello! Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to jump on your head. 95, all right. And up here is the, uh... Place to tame more Karens, right? There's their cave. All right, uh, let me track, let me remember what this one is here again. This one is... Uh, Frozo. Searching the Frozone. You want to go find the Karen Cave? It's searching the Frozone, so yeah. Alright, well, let's teleport back. And let's go see, uh... Actually, let's head over to the... I mean, we've got some stuff. We're gonna have to come back for some more of this. But we've got plenty of... At least enough for two. Wait for these things to respawn. I left the beavers up. So yeah, uh, let's go see over into the ocean biome. So let's go to the southwest. Hey, uh, there you are. Uh, biome teleport. Ocean. Southeast. Teleport ready. Yeah. All right, take us there. All right, here we go. Okay, so from here, this right here. Now, the ocean biome, it's all like wicked weird and buggy uh, and what i mean by buggy is uh and there's glitches in the systems it's so where there's ichthyornas and uh um pegomastax but they're not gonna even mess with you at all ever so when i say buggy it's just the game itself it's by design it's glitchy so yeah there's glitches in the matrix and there's our our shack and i'm thinking that for our base base we're gonna need to come up with something Somewhere right around here, honestly. Let's see, where are we? We want it right next to a teleporter. Yeah, this is actually pretty good, but we want it... I mean, there's lots of stuff. Can we actually get back up on this once we jump off and out of the trees? Let's come down here. I don't think you can get back up on top of this one. I mean, and actually the space in between these two would be pretty good. And we could actually make a uh, an elevator to come up here and just get all this stuff. Because there is a lot of resources up top of here. I mean, a lot of resources. Hello. And look at all those guys way up there. We may need to do a dino wipe here soon. I'm just saying. Alright, so let's... Pop down here. Okay, there's... 
that. And I'm not too worried about breath right now, because you can actually hold your breath a lot longer on Genesis than you can on other map. Pop up here. Okay. So that's that area. Should probably get something and you just cruise around and see best areas. You know what? Let's teleport. And also, can Othyla get up that wall over there? That's probably one of the biggest things. Oh, hello. 55 Bassy. Alright. The only thing I'm really worried about is the Electrophorus. It can be kind of a pain. Can you get up this? No. Okay. Can you go around the other side? No Electrophorus. Leave me alone. Okay, so we can come up this side. Okay, alright, alright. That's not too bad. Alright, so you can come up the back side. Um... You heard me. And then... Jump over here. Honestly, I'm thinking this is probably one of the better spots for base. But we'll teleport around really quick. We'll go see. I need to make sure that uh, we don't take Morpheus with us. Right, let's go uh, to a different one. Um, uh, Coffee Badger. Pick one. Let's see. Biome Teleportation. Ocean. We're at Southeast. Let's go North. To let's teleport. go see what there is. It could be anything up there. It could even be a boat. You know how much we wanted one of those. All right, and here's the Wave Race one. And this is, one is actually pretty good, but there's no teleporter into it, I don't think. Um. HLNA reporting for adventure. Yeah. All right, let's see. Um. Biome teleportation, ocean. So we went north, we went southeast. Um. Preparing to teleport. Go see. But yeah, I love the idea of having a base in the ocean biome just because the ocean biome is just. You don't have to worry about everything uh, coming and eating your face. You don't have to worry about landslides. You don't have to worry about the cold. Um, I mean, there's all sorts of really cool base locations on Genesis. It's just finding one that really meshes Teleport with you is now. the hard part. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Hey! So, yeah, this happened. Um, so... There we go. Okay, so that right there, that is east. East takes us right here. Honestly, I'm thinking in between north and northeast is probably the best way. East just pops us right on this island. So this right here, actually, it kind of suits our needs. And we already have this spot here, but I want a floating base because reasons. So we can have Morpheus up here with his little, you know, uh, penthouse kind of thing up on the rock. And it'll be amazing. And we can just build right in between the two of these. I think that'll work out really, really well. And then we can also go dipping and diving and hooting and hollering down in the um, in the ocean. That'll be fun, right? Yeah. All right, let's get back over to the bog and go see if we're ready for um, any of our platforms yet. We should be getting pretty dang close. All right, back in here in the swamp. And I think I'm going to uh, be chilling out here for a little bit. Uh, make a cup of coffee, do my thing, and then I'm um, waiting on... I We've got enough for uh, one and a half of the uh, platform, so I'm just going to wait a little bit more. It's going to be a little bit for them. And then waiting on these things to stop attacking me. Thank you. Um, and then from there, uh, we're going to go over them. Also, while we're, I'm busy doing this, I'm going to be making up a whole bunch of uh, ceilings and stuff like that. Just getting ready so where we can actually build a massive thing. Oh, hello. What are you? 
That's a 125 Berry Onyx. Oh, not bad. Not bad. All right, see you guys in a little while, actually. All right, Coffee Badger. I think we are ready to commit to this, at least for now. And, all right, let's see. This is the stuff we brought over. I ended up making four of these, and this right here, this turned out to be my lucky spy no sale as I was busy. Um, oh, uh, crafting all this stuff because it was just hanging out with me the whole time. So, you know, I decided, you know what? We do it. And I ended up making four of these just because, uh, I mean, these things are massive. And here, look at this. They are massive. So, but I do think, and let's see, you know, how big, I mean, we want them, I want it so where I can just jump right off that and then kind of, Come over to this one. And I want it to where... Oh, whoa, hold on. Ooh, no, 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 hold on. I'm like this. Actually, hello. All right, there's nothing bad in the water right now, right? Right? Please say yes. Um... So if we, and this is going to take me a little while to figure this one out because I think what I want, I want to get it to where we may end up having to go make another one eventually, but I want it across this. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, you know, there's those times when you go to place your, uh, Bang, and then you get hit with a whirlpool. This is exciting. Come on, get me out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh, the frustration level right now. Dude, I'm just trying to play something. I just, I don't want to die. I don't want anything like that. Come on. <laughs> Please. No. Stop sucking me down. Thanks. All right, when the ocean slurps, I guess you got to listen, huh? All right, thank you. Sheesh. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Kind of, not really at all. Thanks. Okay, I think I may have gotten it. I think this may be how I want it. And we're going to have to see if we can actually get a few more things lined up to it. But also... Yeah, but this way here, we can just come right up here onto on, onto this. And because you can actually snap these things into this. Uh, well, it doesn't really snap, but they will. And you can actually put it into that. So we may actually have another one go right through that. And I think I kind of like the idea of that. All right, let, let me give this one a try. Okay. Um, now, they won't actually snap. Let's see. But... Can actually get them lined up. Yeah, see, right like through there. But also, I have to make sure that I pick up that, or I put a new storage box over there before I snap this, or else I can get in trouble because it'll just block it off. But yeah, this should be good. Okay, all right. This should be good. Let's give it a try. I have to craft a new one of these and move it. All right, let me see. Okay, so I had an extra smithy up inside of the base. So that's what we're going with on this. I mean, if there, you have an extra smithy, then you've got an extra smithy. So we're just going to use that instead of this. All right, so you can just go away. Uh, you were you did great, but now you're gone. Sorry, dude. All right, uh, let's see. So let's get this lined up. And we've got three, of the, three more of these. And that's all I'm making on these things because I really don't want to have to mess with uh, a little bit more metal. But I do want... So line that up, get it like this, back it up, back it on up, okay, and they've got some spots on them. That you can use to line up oh, a little bit too far. go in the rink here in a minute. 
back to the right. Lining these things up is not picky. And that far side, is it? Right there. I think that's good. There we go. All right. But the key thing with this is you can't have... Uh, anything that's built on this platform will not carry over to this platform. There are ways of actually doing it, but the snap, they just will not snap. That's the whole thing. So you, when whenever you're building, just remember that the snap is just not going to work. Further to the right... Smidge back to the left. That looks good. Okay. All right. Back that up just a touch. Bam. All right. Now, also, uh, if you're playing on uh, servers, this is really this is going to be a lot harder because you have to actually make it so where you can build inside of the. Uh, um, the things, but uh, inside of the adventure zones, but um, on single player, it's wicked easy. Now, let's see. Line this one up. All right, I think I got it. Let's try. And let's go make sure this right here meets up. Oh, it does. Oh, okay. Okay. So for <laughs> such a massive undertaking, they do kind of line up. All right, it is slightly off. But I think that's, yeah, that's the best it's getting on this one right here. I mean, that's, that was a big uh, thing. But also, now we've got this huge bit of real estate right here that we can just absolutely uh, keep building off of. Uh, let's see, and then these, uh, I can only carry half of those at a time. We can snap right inside of here. We can block off one or two of them and have massive areas inside and then use the other two for their designated purpose. Or we could actually kind of uh, have them We could use them for all sorts of different things, which to me is awesome. And I'm going to need to make a lot more ceilings. And the stone are uh, the stone uh, platforms are a lot smaller than these ones. So if you want a smaller bit of real estate, go with those. But I wanted to go with the big one. So many ceilings inside of these. Oh, man. And here I was thinking, oh, yeah, you're going to be so far ahead of your building project. Yeah. Mind me, next time, don't stop at 100. You know, honestly, I may end up breaking these ones and getting the smaller stone ones 
it, like three smaller stone ones. Actually, you could only have four platforms in an area. But yeah, wow. Okay, we've got this massive area right here, and that takes a lot of ceilings over there. I'm just saying that is a lot. So we can have all sorts. I mean, this is going to be a massive base, and we're going to be able to do all sorts of cool stuff with it. Yeah. Wow. All right. But hey, that's it for today. Uh, believe it or not, uh, I did a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, so... Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I just made four platforms and put them down. It takes a lot to do that, <laughs> especially by yourself. Uh, so yeah. Um, and then we ended up going over to the snow biome. We found this area. Well, we set this area up in a spot we've had for a while. And now we should be able to just jump right off that, get on top of that, and then build a pretty big base right there, right there, and then also go with some breeding stuff over here. We may incorporate this into, we may actually make this our main base over the entire uh, uh, series of maps that we've got so far. So yeah, honestly, I'm looking forward to it. Lots and lots of building in the future. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to it, right. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Fligger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.